morning, fifth grade. Today is Monday, May 18th, and we are going to be doing grammar together. To be prepared for today's video, you're going to need a couple of items. You'll need scratch paper and a writing utensil. And separate from this video, you'll need to have open today's grammar packet. I'll show you how to find it. From the fifth grade distance learning materials, you'll click on week 10, May 18th to May 22nd. You'll click on grammar because we're doing grammar. And today's Monday, so you'll click on Monday's assignment. Go ahead and grab those materials and come back to the video when you're ready. So for today's lesson, we're going to be reviewing possessive nouns. And then we're going to be answering a couple practice problems about possessive nouns. So the review part, we are going to go ahead and do together by filling in the blanks. First, a possessive noun is a noun that shows a blank in a sentence. Correct, a possessive noun shows ownership. To make a singular noun possessive, what should you do? Let's look at the example below to help us. In this example, Andrew is a singular noun. What did the example do to make it possessive? To show that Andrew is showing ownership over his family from Colombia. You add an apostrophe and an S. To make a plural noun that ends in an S possessive, what should you do? For example, in the example below, families is a plural noun and it ends in an S. What did they do to make that possessive? You add the apostrophe after the S. Last, to make a plural noun that does not end in an S possessive, what should you do? For example, Children is a plural noun, it is speaking about more than one child, but it does not end in an S. How would we make it possessive? To make a plural noun that does not end in an S possessive, you would simply add an apostrophe and an S. Now that we've gone over the rules for showing possession, I want you to go ahead and try the practice problems, numbers one through five. Come back to the video when you're ready to check your work. Keeping those rules in mind, we're gonna go over the practice. Number one, I made sure to carefully wrap my blank presence. The noun was parents. Parents is a plural noun that ends in an S. So to make it possessive, we add the apostrophe after the S, like so. Number two, the blank mother is very nice. The noun was children. Children is a plural noun that does not end in an S. So to make it possessive, we added an apostrophe S. The blank brother is picking them up. Our noun was girls. Girls is a plural noun that ends in an S. So to make it possessive, we just added an apostrophe after the S. Blank eyes are brown. And our noun was Malik. Malik is a singular noun. So to make it possessive, we added an apostrophe and an S. Number five, the blank books are on the table. The noun was men. Men is a plural noun that does not end in S. So to make it possessive, we added an apostrophe S. As you're working on your exit ticket today, make sure to keep your, our notes and our review in mind. And 
be aware that you can always come back to this video if you're ever feeling stuck or confused and need a review on the rules that we discussed. The secret code for today's grammar quiz is lacrosse, L-A-C-R-O-S-S-E, L-A-C-R-O-S-S-E. Using your notes and the practice we just did, go ahead and get started on your exit ticket.